So, a kind of interview with um, Kim Kardashian. I really enjoyed this interview. I thought this was very cool, very sweet of them. I really like the pictures. I think Kim Kardashian looks amazing and the images. I think Kanye um, and Kim are obviously great compliments to each other. And it just seems like they're madly in love. Again, this is something, a trope that you're going to hear quite often. But, you know, Kanye has been through some interesting times as of late. We all know this. Kim also, in some regards. But, you know, the thing with Kanye, the more, the older you get from my... I only can speak for myself... And the more I, I've been exposed to, you know, actual intellectuals, and I've been reading a lot more books, I don't really, I think when I was younger, I, I kind of saw, this sounds stupid to say, but I kind of maybe saw um, Kanye as a living embodiment or, you know, somebody representing a kind of Jordan Peterson character, right? Somebody that kind of was well read, done all the research, presented to you this really thought out opinion. And was I don't know. I I, I had a, I, have, I felt um, Kanye had a more of an influence in my day-to-day life than he than he does nowadays right because i was young i didn't really know i didn't have any any other frames of references that i was kind of latching onto or soaking in but now that i have more frames of reference whether it's through my own life or through the books i'm reading the films i'm watching the documentaries that i'm viewing or they may be called the podcast i'm listening to i can kind of kind of box kanye in that entertainer musician um you know just cultural influencer cultural you know force whatever it may be called I, he can just be in that box for me so he's general everyday politics stuff i don't really care about anymore so i can i can definitely be in a position where i can separate the art from the artist and because of that i really see from the looking reading this interview reading between lines like they are madly in love and i think it's really cool to be now to be in a, in a day and in, in a day and age where public no celebrities are putting their relationship out in public they're you know kim kardashian has changed their name to kim kardashian west it's a very kind of traditional kind of thing they have they have a big family they've got four kids right they put them front and center they put them front and center on social media which i'm not really a fan of but you know everyone's got the way of doing things it's a complete family business with the kardashians and their show and all the other businesses that are spawned off of it i really like that this is the era that we're in right so much so that the younger kids coming up want to have girlfriends right they want to have relationships Lil duck being a good example of it right he wants to have a girlfriend he's showing off his girlfriend that he's on and off with on social media all the time people are looking to like get married look get into look, get into have kids um when someone gets divorced or splits up it's a big deal right it's oh my god i can't believe that happened before it was like a it was like a bit of a comedy show a bit of a circus people are just laughing at them thinking oh how long is this gonna last but now people are rooting for people relationships right they want people to stay together for longer and whatever it may be called look at pewdiepie right good example of that too like there's great it's a great era i think nowadays for that because the example is shown to everybody else is so amazing like there's not that many there may be a few but there's not many high level kind of like playboy type characters are going around smashing everything that moves right and if they do they don't really looked at as heroes as they were in the past which is amazing too it's a good development but again i think this story is a good example of it kind of essentially just completely giving kim kardashian the floor allowing her to take front and center and him just kind of asking some really cool probing questions the whole interview is really cool i, I, I recommend you really check it out loads of great candid pictures loads of stuff about how um, loads of um, insights into how much Kim appreciates Kanye's influence in her style and everything, which I thought was really sweet. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, this thing really, really stuck out to me as well about the law. Kim, Kim Kanye asks her the following. Maybe you underestimate how other people see you. I think other people are expecting someone else. Um, Kim Kanye says the following. But misconceptions, for example, my mind is so focused right now on law school. There is some misconception that I don't really have to study that I bought my way into getting into a law degree. That's absolutely not true. I have put in just as much time as everybody else. I work the same amount of hours that they are required by law, and I have to write essays, take tests, and actually pass them. There are no shortcuts. There is no easy way out, which is amazing, right? Because if you look at she's got more money than God. She can, you know, she doesn't need to do this. And I think, in general, maybe it's because as a society, we're maybe asking more from our celebrities and our icons and our famous people. But I don't really think that's true. I think there's nothing famous people out they're not doing anything they're just enjoying their riches um but it's really commendable that she's willing to step into the fire into the ring of fire and put herself forward for law school because if she fails what happens then right the the amount all the haters that are out there that want them to fail will be out with their daggers and shit but in that imagine she's kind of you know driving for the the prison reform freeing loads of people she freed that you know that the first lady she free she, she featured her in uh in her skims um editorial She's now doing a law degree in order to kind of further um, help these people that are in prison 
for um non what's it called it what they call it non non for i forgot it's called like non-offensive kind of charges like just stuff that you don't need to do if you're kim kardashian i know for sure if i was kim kardashian i probably wouldn't do it right she's a much better person than me because i think if you if i think if you came if you started off as an everyday person and you got to be as famous and rich as her then maybe i'd understand it but she's been quite well to do pretty well off middle class for the most of her career right surrounded around those kind of hollywood industry people so for her to now suddenly come come down and uh or to come down from her kind of high horse per se and and adopt some sort of civic responsibility is really commendable man honestly super commendable i really do i really do rate her for doing it in general i think it's something that people would look back on again these people i think we're always going to appreciate them when they're gone unfortunately they look back on and think wow she didn't need to do it and she actually did it um so there's the following, da, 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 loads of cool pictures of them together, which is really sweet. You can even tell they're looking at each other, they love each other to death. Um, some people say fame is addictive. What are your views on that? Kim Kardashian is the following. I do agree that fame can be addictive and it took me a long time to recognize how lost you can become when you put so much focus on it. People often ask me, money or fame? My focus has always been on success and with success comes money. I'm at this place now where I'm not concerned anymore about fame. But if you would have asked me 10 years ago, I probably would have said that fame and money were equal importance. My focus has shifted a lot, which is true. I think everyone in general has as well. I think you've seen it a lot on social media, even with influencers. There has been a bit of backlash around influencers that are obviously going for the money, right? I think the influencers that usually do the best, that have the kind of best fan reaction and kind of have the most influence and have and are really pushing um, that whole scene forward are the ones that are able to just do what they do well to a really good level and then the money follows, right? But the ones that are just, you know, chasing the views, chasing the money, accepting anything that comes along their table are usually the ones that are kind of derided by everybody else. And again, that's short-lived because that's not something that can last not something that can scale either if you're king kardashian west and you've kind of suddenly decided to pull away from the fame which you can probably capitalize on tenfold and decide to kind of go down this route of actually building businesses and helping people um whatever maybe you call behind the scenes in the scene it's just amazing again really really recommendable to see this is an article from vogue at arabia i'll link it to you again in the show notes if you guys to check out if you're interested but again really cool interview kim kardashian kind of interviews kim some really good pictures too I recommend you check that out.